Yes. Well, it was President Obama himself who asked if a president's farewell speech had to be delivered in Washington. When told he could do it wherever he wanted, he responded, OK, let's go to Chicago. CBS 2 special contributor Jay Levine joins us now. And Jay, you spoke with the person who actually wrote this speech, a Chicagoan, right. and also who wrote thousands of other speeches for the president. Thousands. Exactly. 3,575, according to Mark Noller, the veteran CBS White House correspondent. He keeps track of such things. But there is one more speech that Cody Keenan tells me he is still waiting to write. And we've just learned he just may have to. The one speech I haven't written for the president, the only reason I've stuck around eight years, is for the Cubs coming to the White House. <laughs> Cody Keenan said he wanted to write one more speech for you, welcoming the Cubs to the White House. <laughs> the president didn't answer the implied question. A top White House source said, we'll let you know if I hear definitively. And the Cubs, whose players are actually here this weekend for the midwinter Cubs convention, aren't talking either. Cody Keenan has been with Barack Obama since being hired as an intern back in 2007. Now director of speech writing, he travels with the president on Air Force One, making last minute revisions to speeches, perhaps none as meaningful as the one he'll give here tonight. Every president gets a last speech, you know, it just happens by nature. And to be able to do it in Chicago, you know, my hometown, his hometown, but more importantly, the place where, you know, his career began. And he'll get to reflect on kind of the thread that runs through his career, which is when you bring people together and they get engaged and organized, that's when good things happen. You know, he'll, he'll probably get a little choked up talking about it because um, it means a lot to him. Keenan was one of those who briefed us on the speech he'd written for the president, describing it as a call to action for a new generation of activists. The Wrigleyville and North Shore native who graduated from Northwestern has had his share of serious as well as humorous moments with the president. That's him in the pirate outfit. They agree on most topics, except baseball. I was there for the World Series, games three, four, and five. I took my dad to one, I went with a friend to another, I took my sister to game How five. How did you get time off from a White Sox fan to go to, go to a Cubs World Series game? I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and he's busted me before. He called me once earlier this year on my cell phone at night to ask about a speech, and he heard the organ in the background. He said, are you at a Cubs game? And I said, yes, but I'm taking the first flight back tomorrow. I didn't think you'd know. Until and unless the Cubs visit happens, Keenan's favorite moment involves another Chicago sports team. We were lucky enough to get the 85 Bears here back in 2011. Coach Ditka and Buddy Ryan are here together. <laughs> and that was probably the most fun I've ever gotten to have writing a speech. As for whether Cody Keenan gets to write that Cubs White House welcome, well, the Cubs are together for the first time since November this week. The president is still in office for another week, and no one's returning phone calls, except for one highly placed source who says it is still being discussed. Don't rule it out. And within the last five minutes, a spokesman for the Cubs tells me we are still hopeful it'll happen while the president is still in the way. I wonder if there's a tug of war going on between the Ricketts, some of the Ricketts family, since <laughs> Todd Ricketts is... Uh... Are we mixing politics and sports? Is that yeah. what we're, maybe we are. <laughs> I, I, you, you know that the, that the Ricketts family favors, favors, uh, favors President-elect Trump. You know that Laura Ricketts favors President yeah. Obama. So whether that's going on, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I still think most people would like this to happen in the next week. Right, politics would. aside. Yeah. Hope right. is still there. Thank Thanks. you, Jay.